So you take all this time to put together personas, and now it's time to put them into HubSpot and link them to contacts. But where the hell do you find the personas? Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. So people, when they are using personas in HubSpot, usually fall into two camps. One, you've just created personas and now you're ready to put them into HubSpot and start linking them to contacts so you can easily segment that information. Or two, your team or someone before you has put information into HubSpot about the personas and you can't figure out where to go to access all of the persona or update that if you have new information. So let's, uh, let's show you how to do that here in HubSpot and what that means for your list. And looking at the contact screen, you're gonna see, so this is gonna vary based on how you have HubSpot set up, because you can actually personalize the contact screen of what fields you see and what you don't and what order they're in. So what I'm looking at here might not be the same thing you're seeing on your screen, but uh, within each of the contacts, there's a field called persona. So here in the examples that we have, we have one called Midwestern Marketing Mandy, and I'll show you what she looks like here in a second. But this drop down here really only shows me the personas that are available for me to choose from. So this is kind of step one. So um, if I've already got these personas loaded in, then I can assign them to a contact record and then I'll show you what's possible with that. But let's go back to scenario one where you actually don't have any personas loaded in here yet and you need to put that in so that you can actually have something that drops down in the contact record inside HubSpot. So to do that, you're gonna head over here to this little gear icon and you're gonna click on that. And once you're in the settings area, you're actually gonna to go to properties because personas is actually a contact property as of the recording of this video. And when I search in contact property for persona, then you'll see this persona drop down select is what you want. So I'm gonna click on that. And the label here is persona. This, all this here doesn't necessarily matter too much. What I'm looking for is the actual drop down options here. So when I say I need to go look at the information about this persona, um, if I was new on a marketing team, I would want someone to know, um, you know, here's the ideal picture of our customer. And so if I go into Modern Leader Mark, if I click into this persona, you'll be able to see that um, Modern Leader Mark, so all of these fields here are specific to the persona part of a contact. So if I have a new team member, I come in here and say, hey, actually you need to go learn more about Modern Leader Mark. This is where they would go in HubSpot to learn that information. Again, not the most intuitive way to get here, but this is really, really important because understanding Modern Leader Mark means that I understand how to write to him, the types of content he's gonna be interested, the types of offers he might have, and all of that's gonna be found here in this persona view. So if I wanted to update this information, I would go in here and let's say that, um, you know, I have a new note about um, his goals. So I might go in here and say one of his goals is to, you know, increase ROI. Again, this is information that you would need to agree upon as a team. Um, and then I would go ahead and save that. And that goes right back here into the dropdown options. If I wanted to add another persona, so let's say I have a new persona, I would do the same thing here and, you know, so on and so forth. This show here in forms is something that if you have permissions, you can go ahead and choose if somebody's gonna say what persona they are. We usually advise against that because uh, the last thing somebody wants to do is be profiled uh, on a website um, so openly. So once you've understood where these are, then I'm gonna go back to that contact setting and let's find that record we were working on. So here in this contact setting, again, I can drop down what persona that person is. So let's say that we decided that she was an empowered Erica and I can click save. And then I can actually create a list of all the customers that meet that criteria. So if I have, one of the things that we we know about empowered, empowered Erica in our personas is she's really out to make sure that she's a strategic marketer. So maybe she wants the, you know, a really strategic um, B2B marketing template. So if I wanted to create a list of just the people that are interested in this new resource that we have to offer, I can create a new list here in HubSpot. I can name this list, um, you know, let's say Empowered Erica's. And I would sort by contact properties. And here I would say persona. And that persona is going to be any of, and then I choose Empowered Erica. I would apply that filter. And then it takes a while for that list to fill. But then again, this is a dynamic list and it means that they get added to this list if that persona type matches the criteria that I've set here in the list. 
So another way that personas are gonna be really important to you is um, you can also assign workflows in HubSpot based on how someone answers questions. So we have one example where depending on how they define marketing, we give them a couple drop downs, how they define marketing then assigns what persona they get because it probably points to their understanding of marketing as either a doing type of action or a strategic type of initiative that grows a company. So just a couple of points with personas. So again, if your team is new to personas, you wanna make sure and get them loaded in, uh, load them in into that property setting, uh, into the persona area. If you wanna update the personas or see what you have, let's say you're new to the marketing team, same thing, go to this property area. If you wanna see uh, if a contact that you're, you're working with has a persona loaded, again, that's gonna be here in your contact um, fields. And that persona, if it's not loaded, would be no persona and it would just be blank. So that's it, that's personas. For more HubSpot hacks and how-tos and tips, make sure and subscribe to this channel. We have new videos coming out for you each week. So if you have any questions about personas or anything else HubSpot, drop a comment below and we'll make sure and read every single one. Perhaps we'll see it in a future video.